Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Taurus? Welcome to my channel. This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across my channel, I hope everyone is staying safe. Welcome, my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for your warm comments, your likes, your shares. I am overwhelmed with the love. Thank you so much. New viewers, you are welcome as well. Take what resonate, leave the rest, apply the gender roles, how they fit in your life. And remember, time is fluid. It happens when it's supposed to happen. Time is fluid. Let's get let's get your affirmation, Taurus. This is for Taurus. Get your affirmation motivation for Taurus spirit. This is for Taurus. Okay, two cards right there. Taurus. All right. First card is stay focused. Spirit is saying stay focused, Taurus. Second card is do what you love. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing that you really love to do, Spirit wants you to stay focused. Okay? Spirit wants you to stay focused. I've already pre-shuffled your cards. Let's get into the reading. And Spirit, this is for Taurus. This is for Taurus. Okay, Taurus, someone is curious about you. Someone is watching you. Okay, Spirit wants you to stay focused and continue to do what it is that you love to do. But someone's curious about you. All right, and it's a queen of wands. This person that's curious about you, um, vice versa. If this is a man watching, a woman is curious about you. If this is a woman watching, a man is curious about you. This person don't have time for any BS, okay? This person don't have time for BS. This person's type of person that is fun-loving, down-to-earth, full of life, self-sufficient, okay? And this is the type of person that don't uh, have time for BS, okay? This person is happy. This person, when they see you, they just light up. Okay, Taurus, this person, when they see you, they just light up. This is someone from your past, Taurus. This is someone from your past that is curious about you. Someone's watching you from your past that is curious about you. Um, I see things changing, exciting things changing for you. This person is coming in, but... <clears throat> I also see where you don't have time for the BS. This person is hiding secrets. Yes, they have a hidden agenda. Okay. Or this person could just be in fear. Okay. They could be in fear or this is you in fear of this person has come back because you're trying to think or you're wondering, you know, this moon card can be the fear of the unknown, the illusions that you're putting in your own mind that you're thinking, okay, what do this person want from me? So you have the sun card. Not only have this sun card, but you have you have the um, eight of pentacles. All right. Um, this person wants to come in and work on this connection with you. All right. So, I, yeah, they want to come in and work on this connection with you. They want to collaborate with you, uh, Taurus. Yeah, they want to they want to be stable. They want a stable foundation. Okay? Uh this person is also doing some reflecting. They're looking, or oh, this could be you. And I was going to say Virgo. Virgo was going to come out of my mouth. I was going to say Virgo because this is the hermit card. This could be you going within yourself or this is the your other the person from your past could be a Virgo that they're reflecting and they're going within themselves. But they see this connection is very successful. They want to come in. They want to balance things with you. They want to be reciprocal. Okay. They're rushing in. This is a rushing energy. They're yeah, rushing in, but they want to take their time on this connection, Taurus. They don't want to be in no hurry, even though they're rushing in, but they're take, they, they, want to, they want to take the time on this connection. You know, they don't want to rush this connection. They want to take their time. This person is very attractive. Very, very attractive to you. 
This could have been someone, this, they could have manifested you back into their life. I keep getting Virgo that wants to come out of my mouth, Taurus. I keep getting Virgo. It keeps coming to my mouth. The spirit wants me to say Virgo. Even before this Virgo card came out, I was about to say Virgo. two cards yeah this person is a little guarded but they see happiness with you they want the happy life happy wife happy husband they want a family they want want a family with you tell me more about star spirit Yeah, they they it's almost like they're going to do whatever they're going to do at no cost. They're going to they're going to fight for you. Because they're sad and they're depressed without you. So you have the 7 of swords in reverse. They're not hiding anything. They're not being sneaking and hide anything. This person is very sad without you. You know? Yeah, they're coming in to offer true love to you. They're sad. It's, it's almost like they can't live without you. They can't live without you. This person, Taurus, cannot live without you. They're sad, they're depressed, or you can't live without this person. You know, they're at a crossroad. But they want to come and they want to express themselves to you, Taurus. Yeah, they see you as the empress. And they're very passionate about this connection. They're excited about this. This person you're dealing with can be intuitive as well. But they definitely, they definitely are over overthinking. They definitely just uh, obsessing. They just really, they just really have you in their mind. They're just thinking of how. They lost you, how you just walked out of their life. Yeah, they're moving out of a very rough situation. Someone broke their heart. They're ready for a new beginning. It's been weighing on a very heavy Taurus. Too many cards. Weighing on them very heavy. Because they see how beautiful you are. They see how beautiful you are. And um and they they just Good luck, good fortune is on their side. They're bringing it back around to, to them. But I see you waiting on something else to come in. You're waiting in on your ships to come in. But this person is really, really, um, Taurus, this person is really sad without you. This person is has manifest, trying to manifest you back in their life. And they, they, they just can't function without you, it seems like. You know, they they just see you as their happiness. And they want to come in and offer, you know, true love. They want to offer they want to come in and express their true feelings to you. This could be a Virgo that you're dealing with because spirit keep pushing it out of my mouth. Taurus, this could be a Virgo that you deal that you were once dealing with. Well, it could be vice versa, Taurus. You could be, you know, regretting and, and missing this person. You could be the one that's missing this Virgo. Because Virgos keep, it, it keeps, spirit keeps pushing it out of, out of my mouth. So it, this could be you curious 
and wandering and, and just miss this person. You're so you're sad. You're very sad, and you and you moving out of maybe a relationship that you've been in, but it's like you can't get over your past person. You think about this past person all the time. You're all in your head about this past person. You know, they left you out in the cold, but you can't get over this person. Or you left them out in the cold. <sighs> Spirit wants you to stay focused. Do what it is. Do what you love. You know, stay focused. Do what you love. Um, maybe you are letting this just, you know, deter you. In, in whatever path that you're on, Tara, Spirit is wanting you to know, wanting you to stay focused. And do what makes you happy, not what makes you sad. Because it seems like this person that's not in your life anymore, you're very sad because you don't have this person in your life anymore. And Spirit wants you to stay focused on what, what you love, what makes you happy. And if this person is what makes you happy, then go get that person back. You know, don't keep feeling sad. Go get that person back, Taurus. If that's how you really, if this is what you love. Go get this person back. This has been your reading. Until next time.